A question of character. The China warrior Wang enjoys nice, peaceful walks. Of death. Everything in China is attempting to kill him. Monks of suicide. Balls of flame. Butterflies of madness. Dinner plates. Hecklers of humiliation throwing rocks at Wang's face. This is a cruel land. But Wang will not cry. But Wang will bleed from the mouth. Wang is strong. Wang is determined. Wang only knows the basics of kung fu combat. He performs the angry punch, the angry kick, the lower punch, the jumping side kick, and the jumping calf kick. The worst jump kick in the land of China. Wang seems self Taught, emulating the skill and uniform of Bruce Lee, but none of the talent. Wang remains bare chested to boast pure muscular energy to his foes. Wang expresses the fiery emotion of his attack when he strikes. He widely opens his mouth and eyes in wild anger and thrusts his red puff pants, allow for fluid movement and leaps. And Wang's pointy kung fu shoes can even stop a knife. The kung fu province of China has been captured by an evil horde led by their boss, Kara. The people will not stand for this evil takeover, but they won't send an army. They will send Wang. Wang knows he has a chance because, like Wang, the entire country only knows a moderate amount of martial arts skills. Therefore, when Wang reaches an area boss, there will be a messy fight. Sometimes they will not even hit each other. Wang will angrily flail while the enemy cowers in snake stance. Wang fights his enemies, hoping they will slip up. That is when Wang will strike. In certain instances, Wang will deliver the accidental death blow. This will come as a complete surprise to his opponent as well as Wang. When Wang defeats his rival, he bows to them as if this was some sort of respectful event of honor. It was not. Wang is just lucky. Ironically, it is Wang's cluelessness that allows for his survival. Any rational man would realize the insurmountable challenge and go back home to the left. However, Wang does not because China warrior does not move to the left. But it is of no matter because Kara's evil horde does not have much of a battle plan. They just throw things at him. And I mean anything. Spears, dinner plates, water, dinner plates, knives, sticks of wood, dinner plates. Basically, whatever is next to them is thrown at Wang. The strategy is similar to that of an angry drunk person. That is because the evil boss, Kara, is an angry drunk person. Kara's final offensive tactic is to roll a giant rock at Wang. Useless. The China warrior Wang fights for the people of China. He is courageous. He uses nunchucks to break priceless artifacts. He is not alarmed that there is not only one, but multiple clones of himself. And he will only stop his walk and reflect on his journey after he reaches a cliff. And this is where Wang will remain forever. Because the China warrior Wang does not move to the left. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.